they're tiny, but microbes play an enormous role in nearly every aspect of our lives. There are 10 times as many bacteria as there are human cells in our bodies. Every liter of water from our oceans contains more than 1 billion individual bacteria. An even more surprising statistic is that every year 5,000 people die from foodborne illnesses and 76 million more are sickened. Research is only further revealing that bacteria are true sentinels for environmental and human health. Phylotech offers microbial analysis services for a variety of needs such as source tracking of water contamination and disease and drug research. But today, we're going to explore how microbial analysis is being used to assess the impact of one of the worst environmental disasters the U.S. has ever seen, the 2010 oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico. We're going to take a look at a recent paper in the journal Science that made some surprising discoveries about how the bacteria in the Gulf are responding to the massive influx of oil and chemical dispersants in their ecosystem. The source of the oil spill, the wellhead for the Deepwater Horizon oil rig, is located nearly 5,000 feet underwater. An oil dispersant has also been injected directly at the wellhead at the same depth in order to prevent large slicks from forming at the surface and from impacting the shoreline and wetlands. A crucial question has been whether microbial communities would help biodegrade the massive amounts of oil that remained deep underwater. So to begin investigating this, researchers from Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory and several other institutions analyzed water samples collected from 17 sites at about 3,000 feet underwater. To analyze these water samples, the researchers used phylochip technology to measure the abundance of every known bacterial and archaeal organism, more than 59,000 distinct taxa. This approach relies on the analysis of the 16S ribosomal RNA gene sequence, which is present in every bacterial genome, but varies just enough to serve as a fingerprint for a specific bacterial type. All the DNA in each water sample was extracted, and then a DNA microarray with probes representing all known 16S DNA sequences were used to measure the presence of each bacterial taxa. Once this data is collected, statistical analysis is performed. The first thing that the researchers uncovered was that samples in the deep water oil plume had distinctly different populations of bacteria than water samples collected away from the plume. In the ordination analysis shown, there's a distinct cluster identifying plume samples in red and non-plume samples in blue. Overall, total diversity of bacterial and archaeal taxa declined by 40% in oil plume samples. There were a total of 951 distinct taxa in 62 phyla found across oil plume samples. Importantly, 16 subfamilies of gamma proteobacteria were actually enriched in oil plume samples over non-plume samples. Interestingly, all of the gamma proteobacteria taxa that were found in the oil plume samples are either known to biodegrade hydrocarbons or have been observed to thrive in the presence of crude oil in cold waters. Even though other methods indicated that 90% of the bacterial biomass consisted of a single taxa, phylochip technology uncovered these important organisms. So what does all this mean? Well, first of all, the researchers were able to complete this study very quickly. In less than a month, they were able to collect data and analyze their results. Using phylochip technology, the researchers quickly uncovered differences in the microbial populations in oil plume samples compared to non-plume samples. 952 distinct bacterial taxa in 62 phyla were found in plume samples, which represented a 40% decline in bacterial richness. With this reduction in diversity came an increase in a specific class of bacteria, gamma proteobacteria. The members of this class of bacteria enriched in oil plume samples are known and suspected oil biodegraders, indicating that intrinsic bioremediation may be occurring in the Gulf of Mexico. Phylotech is the only company that offers phylochip technology. To contact us about starting a project to analyze the microbial populations in your samples, visit us at www.philotech.com. Call us 
or email us at info at philotech.com. Lastly, if you already have a project in mind, Philotech is offering a grant award for innovative studies looking at microbial communities in human and environmental samples. To submit your proposal, visit www.philotech.com.